please. Oh, all right, all right. I haven't actually played this mode in ages. I'm gonna do Unlimited Mars. So I figured, you know, I need to take my mind off of Persona 4 Arena. Because it has now officially come out in Japan. Uh, like, it's available for download and shit. I like how they made it available for download and, like, five hours later, PSN goes down for maintenance. Um, but anyway, so I need to take my mind off of it, man. The flood of Persona 4 Arena videos is starting to come in now. Everybody's that, you know, used, that's either imported, well, pe most people that imported the game haven't gotten it yet, but people that are, like, they downloaded it from either Japan or, like, Hong Kong. PSN, I believe, is the cheapest way to get it right now. They're all talking about playing it and stuff like that. So I need to distract myself from it because I, I don't want to know anything. When Ken comes in, I'm going to be learning from square one. And I'm actually going to use that. I'm going to make a tutorial on it. will be short because there's not really much you can say. But I'm going to make a tutorial for, um, for learning a new character. Which apparently I could make with... Oh my god! Yeah, I tried to burst there. This bitch. Oh shit. Fucking Noel's hurt box. I suck. What a miss! Please go under. Wow. Wow, I cannot believe that all worked. Nice combo, Nate. Probably could have killed her off that, but you know, nice combo. <laughs> Dumbass. Woo, I suck. Been a while, I'm sorry, it's been a while. Oh wow, I cannot believe that beat Gustav. Oh, what am I doing? She has the low weak point. I can't do that shit. Damn. Damn! That's gonna be a lot of damage. Oh, shit! <laughs> but yeah, I want to learn Ken from square one. I don't want to know anything. I want to learn him myself. Because the problem is when you, like, look up something about, you look data up, in general, if, I mean, it just depends on what you kind of are, but if you accept the opinion of somebody, you accept the limitations they discover themselves rather than, you know, searching for it. Nice combo. Oh, I almost did it. I fucked it up at the end, though. He dropped too low. I mean, that's not really that exciting. That's worth getting excited about. You asshole! We all know what that was. The weird thing about it, though, is that I didn't even get... Um... Oh, shit. Jin. Fucking Jin. I should have killed him there, too, but I didn't... I just got 5D instead of Blackhawk Stinger, which was fast enough. Wow, that did not go well. That got scary for a second. DPs, he gets so much off of that too. Oh, oh my god, really? Am I 
some meat of that son of an asshole. Oh my god! Oh wow, we fucked that up. But yeah, it's a lot... That combo, getting the double weak points, is a lot easier if you just go straight into 6C instead of doing 5C, 6C. It's way easier. The timing's really tight, otherwise... Fucker went low. Can, can my ass get unfrozen, please? That is some bullshit. Oh, god damn. Oh, god damn. Gotta burst. I'm dead there otherwise. From up there? Oh my god. God damn, unlimited gin. It's, just, it's constant 50 50 mix up. You don't know if he's gonna do the high ice car or low ice car. And in general, with the AI, it's just they go with whatever way you're blocking at that moment. So if you start to see the ice car start up, you just you block the other direction. But not with Jin. Jin gets clever about it. He blocks other directions. I mean, he aims high. He doesn't always go, you know, like if you're blocking low, he doesn't always go high. <sighs> Fuck it, let's try it. Let's try B. I, I can do this. I can do this. I know I can do this. I totally can't do this. But I know I can do this. Amane's the problem. Actually, you know what? I lied. I'm saying Amane's the problem, but Amane is the problem. Relius is a problem. Carl is a problem. Lychee is a problem. Everybody in this goddamn route is a fucking problem. Ah, shit. Yeah, too high. Oh, shit. Yep. Yeah. I don't even care. Just oh fuck. Fuck shit. God damn it, I suck. Oh, god damn! I didn't want that button to come out. Actually, I didn't want that forward dash. Actually, oh, why did I attack? Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I can't see this motherfucker, but we're good. Yo, I was uncursed! That's some bullshit. I was uncursed. What the hell is calling? It's 7.30 a.m. Fuck you. PG and E, get out of here. Too late, yeah. Fuck you. Oops. Oops! Oops! Okay. Stay in the corner. I just tried to do uh, Valiant with 4D. What the flying fuck was that? Wait, what is that? What? What are you? What are you? I have never seen that before. What are those? They're gone. Okay, good, he died. I don't think I could have reached him after that anyway. <laughs> I have no idea what those were. I have never seen that bug shit before. That's the first time I've ever seen that. God, that scared the shit out of me. They're gonna be like, cause didn't, um, wasn't it Arakuni that had like his original, one of his original unlimited forms? <laughs> had like an instant kill like one of his bugs he could let out was just an instant kill if you got hit by it
Oh, God damn it. Let's see if I can finally do this. Jesus, I suck at that. I'm the best. Oh, I'm not the best. I guess you need a better. I don't know. I don't even. I can't even remember what I started with. Ooh, that was supposed to be a barrier block. Fuck you. That kind of sucks. <laughs> really fucking suck. Learn your spacing, Nate. Shit. I'm gonna start with 6D. Nailed it. I was talking to go for a count. What? I'm sorry, what? So I'm hit by 5A, you asshole. Can't do shit after 5A. Rot roll. Rot roll. Nate done fucked up. Imani done fucked up. Doesn't matter though. Shit. Nailed it. Thank God Amane's pokes are so easy to whiff punish because that shit is. Cool. So unlimited Amane is only only scary if you let him get going. Like once he starts throwing D's at you, like the AI will perfectly space that shit. You're not getting away from it if you get caught in it. So that's the big. That's how it kind of is with a lot of unlimited characters. Like as long as you just pressure them, their defense. Just sucks. Nope, nope, nope. Shit. Shit. <sighs> yes, attention. Dude, fuck off with that shit. That shit is so good. Oh my god, that shit is so good. I can't get past it. It's a fucking wall. Carl's a zoner? Give me that weak point, son. Give me that weak point. I need it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, am I dead? Oh, thank god. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh no! No, no, no! Fuck that shit. Fuck you. Fuck that sh- Oh my god, that clap! Please, 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 please. Okay. Okay, all right, calm down, calm down, it's okay. Ain't nothing but a bang. We're all good. Oh, Allegretto is so good. Ow. Oh, okay. Oh God, okay. No, 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 back the fuck up. Oh my God, what? I have no idea how to hit me. Apparently Overdrive just turned that into an unblockable, that's cool. That's I don't know I don't know what I what the hell Nirvana was doing, but that scared the sh she just started shining and I was like oh my god oh my god please die just please for all of that is good in this world just die. And now we got Relius to deal with. <laughs> It's rough to good start. Oh my god, not off to a good start. Oh, we're with punishing that. You know we're with punishing that. Oh shit, we didn't with punish that. Oh balls. This is like 4k too, I think. Never mind. Oops. 
Landed right in that. Oh, I can't believe I missed that, because I was going to do 5B in the Black Ox Stinger, which would have killed, I think. Ow. Jesus Christ, that staggered for ages. Oops, that was bad. God, why do I suck so bad at that? Shit! I can't believe that didn't hit him. Damn, I tried to astral. Even on unlimited mode, that shit sucks. Oh, I wanted to empty jump and blow up the, uh, oh shit. Woo! Overdrive scared the shit out of me. Holy crap. I think it's Lychee next to his is just this is a shitty path. I mean the good thing is that well, the good and bad thing. Oh no well. All of these characters are very very much momentum based. Like, as long as you just stay on them and pressure them, they're gonna get hit by a block string at some point in time. Whereas, with other characters, they will kind of blow you up for trying to do blocks, a lot of block strings. Oops, why did I confirm into that? I, only do, I think I only did three hits there. I can hit from the, oh shit, back dash. No, I'm not gonna die. Oops. I was looking to see whether or not. Oh fuck! I was going me. Close enough, yay. Oh, 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 okay, that was all really awkward. <laughs> Why am I suddenly missing that? Oh god. Yeah, for real, why am I suddenly missing that? I was scared she would land and block. <laughs> I was actually legitimately scared when I did that, because she kind of fell further than I expected her to when I started it up. Astro finish! I wonder, I bet you can counter hit 5B into that. Aerial 5B. What the hell is Lychee? Why was I so scared? I thought Lychee was so much earlier in this path. Because with this one, she always does 5D right at the beginning. God damn, I still, I just, I can't, I can't. And now I just put myself in the corner because I'm goddamn brilliant. Oh god. Wow, that was dirty. So scared of the bomb that I didn't even pay attention to her. Oh god. Aw, oh, damn it. Fuck you, that'll reach. Oh shit, she's airborne, stupid. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh! I'll take it, but I thought that would hit. 
Phalanx Cannon usually goes through everything. God damn it. Ow. Oh god, I missed it again. Yeah, that's what I missed. I knew it. At least I'm not as rusty as I was at the beginning. Like, I'm not missing everything that I'm doing. Bad, I, I have no idea why suddenly I started missing the back forward the second hit a record. Cobra? Cobra. I really, I have no idea why I started missing that. Alright, we finally ran into Lychee. I am going to do Gustav at the beginning. It's going to be a terrible idea. Whoa. Straight the fuck through it. Oops. I fucked that up. It was not to be. Oh god, that was a low. Oh shit. <laughs> that was a little scary. Man, that burst, uh, her bursting after Growler hit and Growler absorbing it though, that fucking murdered the frame rate. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Um, um, can I, can I, okay, no. No, 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 fuck that. Let me run my own shit, fuck. Never mind, don't let me run my own shit. God damn, I just keep, I, all I want to do is counter hit this bitch, and I, oh god, I might be dead. Oh, now I'm definitely, Jesus. This is why I was scared of unlimited lychee, holy shit. Three seed again. Okay, that's cool. Invincibility. Oh shit. Alright, don't even let her move. Oh my gosh, he reset me? Oh, where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> Yo, I need my burst. I really desperately need my burst right about now. Fuck! Yeah, that's why I, I unlimited lychee, like... Once the staff is going, you can't do anything. The staff is always there to hit, and it's just, it's... That is definitely the epitome of what I meant with a character that, like, you have to just stay there and pressure them with whatever endless block string you have. Just stay there and do it. So anyway, I'm not going to do another attempt. So I gotta, who else did I actually have? I'm just going to check and see who else I had. Please select your character. Ragnar the Blood Edge. So we had Lychee. Hmm. I have a feeling... New probably wouldn't be that hard, because I bet she would just throw everything into Growler. Rachel, I have no idea how difficult Rachel would be. But I don't think... Mew's kind of a toss-up. I have no idea. She might be difficult, she might not be. So Rachel and Mew right there are the toss-ups, but I have a feeling New would actually be pretty easy. And Lychee obviously was a problem. But other than that, I don't really have a problem with any of the characters. I mean, like I said, the majority of these... Well, actually, it's kind of Unlimited Mars in general, and I think that's why Azrael actually isn't fantastic for Unlimited Mars, is just because, like, you need characters that can just continually throw out pokes. Like, I think Jin would actually be absolutely amazing at this, because you can you just have endless pressure. The AI doesn't really do proper defensive measures, and so Jin has just endless pressure until you finally get a hit. Like how 5A, 5BB with Azrael gets me a hit like probably 75% of the time just that simple ass block string um so I feel like you know characters with really good blood Noel probably be the same way because she gets a lot of pressure off of her D moves Carl Relius would both be really good too if you know how to use their dolls but anyway yeah that's what I kind of mean like if you just 
lock them down. They're not, they're really not scary at all at the beginning if you just understand their initial actions and what they're potentially going to do at the beginning. They're really not that hard. You just got to lock them down at some point in time and keep them there. But once you get knocked down, that's when, like, that's why I burst usually so early is just because... If you give them the momentum, that's what allows them to do their just insane, unlimited potential. Unlimited potential. But they just, whatever nonsense they have, it allows them to do it. So just try and lock them down. And if they hit you, just burst. Whatever, fuck it. Just get them off of you and get back to hitting them. But anyway, so yeah, um, I am planning on using my ignorance of Persona 4 Arena Ultimate, Ultimax in general to use like when it comes out I'm actually just gonna kinda show do a little bit of, tu of a tutorial and talk about how I personally learn characters that may be helpful to some people um, but I'm not going to do the character tutorials anymore cuz like when they were just announcing that there's gonna be a Chrono Phantasma 2.0 version when they were just leaving it there and like we knew about uh, Celica and the new and Lambda split like whatever I didn't you know that's sure there's another version coming out soon but whatever but now that, like, everybody's attention now is on Persona 4 Arena, firstly. And secondly, they already did a Loc test. So, like, everybody's just talking about the changes and what's coming up. And so it's like, you know, whatever. It's, it was just a bad time for it. And um, I'll definitely make sure, because there was, obviously, there was a lot of interest in it. And so I'll make sure to remember that, to keep that in the back of my head when CP 2.0 does come out. To definitely do those for characters that I'm worth doing that for. Um, and I'll look to do, to do the same thing for Persona 4 Arena in general. I'm just kind of doing like maybe like a... I mean, the thing about this, I've never actually gone through the tutorial mode of this game. But they're pretty good at teaching you about the game. Like you would definitely, if I was learning this, I would definitely go through this new. I would definitely go through this myself. And like, I'd roll through a few of these. Not all of them, but I would roll through a few of them. And then I would go to like training mode and I would learn my characters normals and then I would go back and like go back through the stuff I already went through and then add a few on top of that as well to learn to learn new stuff and then I would go into like challenge mode and see some of their combo potential that kind of stuff but like a lot of games in general lately are very good at introducing you to the system mechanics I don't know if Persona 4 Arena has the same feature I would assume it would be since it's made by the same people that made this game um but yeah, fighting games now have a lot more tools uh, to learn the game within the game rather than having to you know, like look up a bunch of information. You know, like old games like Marvel vs. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 or CVS 2. Um, uh, basically, all of the old games, really, even Street Fighter 4 is kind of a little bit of a victim of this. Although they did have a challenge mode in that game that they haven't <laughs> they haven't updated it since Super. Awesome job there. Um, but they do have a, tr uh, a challenge mode in that game where they have a bunch of combos that you can learn. So they at least have that. But old versions of the game, they didn't even have that. Old versions of fighting games, they didn't even have that. They just had arcade mode, training mode, verse mode. And that was basically it. So you just had to learn by doing and do whatever you could. So fighting games now in general, a tutorial like that about learning characters isn't really hugely necessary. But... If it helps somebody, it helps somebody. And it's not going to be a very long video because in general, learning a fighting game character is very little about not like information, knowing information. I mean, obviously having some extra information helps, but the majority of learning a fighting game character is just doing it. Just learn by doing. You have to play. Like you can't just sit here and know like, oh, okay, 5A is plus one on block or... 5B is a uh, negative 2 on block, 5C is punishable on block, stuff like that. Like, there's only so much that knowing a bunch of frame data and knowing the sequence of combos will get you. You have to do them yourself in order to really learn them. And that's why, like, I didn't even know, I didn't even care about, I still don't really care that much about frame data in general. Like, I still kind of vaguely care about it. Like, I'll look it up just to see, like, oh, okay, that's what this is. This will allow me to, like, this is minus so if he uses it in a block string, then I can get out of the pressure because if I hit a button, at the very worst, it'll counter hit and then it'll reset the neutral or something like that. But I don't really like, you know, think about, okay, I always know that this move is plus two or this move is always minus three or whatever. I don't really 
know that in depth. It's just the majority of it you just get by playing. You like you learn, okay, this is punishable. This isn't punishable, but it, it's it marks the end of their offense because they can't do it. They're not safe if they hit another button after it. That kind of stuff. So like that's why, and I'll, I will talk about my process for learning it. But firstly, everybody has a different process. And secondly, like I said, the majority of what you just have to do is play. That's the best way you have to learn is just play, get your ass kicked, and, you know, eventually you'll stop getting your ass kicked and you'll start hanging. And that's just how you learn. So anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed that little short bit of Blaze Blue. And I will definitely do some. I'm going to go back to Persona 4 right now because I'm, I'm getting closer and closer to the end. I'm in, uh, I'm in October right now. I'm getting there. I'm almost there. So once I finish that, I can really move on to other stuff. Because damn, that game. I am done with... Well, I don't want to say I'm done with JRPGs. But I said that with Tales of Vesperia too. But, um... Just like... I definitely need to focus on shorter, more exciting games. Like, Persona 4 is a really good game. But exciting? No. That is not what Persona 4 is. I mean, hopefully I'll be getting that with the uh, When Will He Quit series. But it just also depends on how long, I mean, obviously, how long until I quit. Because I, I don't want to have, like... Because technically, just due to the way that, you know, obviously I record, I record a bunch of stuff beforehand. Um, you know, like, I'll sit down and I'll record for, let's say, if I record for an hour of a day of Persona. And then I record for another hour with uh, a When Will He Quit series. That gives me two videos of Persona and four videos of that. So I have... That short amount of time gives me four videos for a day, so it really wouldn't be hard to just, like, have a bunch of games going at the same time, but I don't want to, like, do upload overload, really. And so, but I mean, like, obviously there are going to be series that people aren't interested in. I know fighting games are my main audience, and I definitely want to try and maintain, do as much fighting game stuff as I can. Because I know that's my main audience, and I feel like that's where I'm going to get the most growth in general. And, like, eventually I'm going to basically have, like, two split audiences. Because I'm going to get subscribers based on fighting game stuff who aren't interested in the playthrough stuff, and that's perfectly fine. And I'm going to get subscribers that, you know, they see the Persona videos, they see the Tales of Vesperia videos, and they're interested in that kind of stuff. But they're not interested in the fighting game stuff. And so... It's finding the necessary balance between those two, so nobody's just like, man, fuck this guy, and they just leave. Because I want everybody to stay. I love you all. But yeah, so I definitely need to, um, I mean, honestly, I kind of just need to play more. Really, that's really all it is. It's the same thing with Street Fighter. Like, I do want to learn Street Fighter. It's not like, I'm just like, oh, I'm only doing this because it's a fighting game and it has an active community. Like, I really do actually want to learn Street Fighter, but it's just... I have so much time, I have so many other things that I just don't have enough time to like sit down and grind out on Street Fighter and really get good, even though I really want to. Damn, growing up sucks. <laughs> so much less, well I mean it's not like that I have less free time in general, but I have so many more options to use my free time for. <laughs> and I can't choose man, I want to do everything, I want to do it all. So yeah, that's enough rambling from me, and uh, no, I got nothing else to say. <laughs>